kama nafikiri huu ni mwendelezo wetu na, na hadi yetu tuwe kwa tumeitoa kwamba tutafanya hizi clinic mara nyingi zaidi lakini clinic hii tunaifanya special kwa ajili ya ya swala swala la muhimu ambalo limejitokeza sasa hivi maana baada ya clinic yetu ya mwanzo kuna mgeni ambaye ame ambaye tunamtegemea angeweza kuja ambaye tumemwangalia hasa maalumu kwa ajili ya clinic yake Dennis Wise kama tulivyotangaza katika vyombo vya habari mzee kambi mara nyingine tena tunatarajia kupata vijana wangapi ambao mnahakikisha mna, mna watatoka kupitia project hii project project inafuatana na hao wenzetu wanaokuja kuchukua wanaokuja kuachagua sasa hivi kama atapata watatu atapata wanne atapata inafuatana na nani na vijana wetu watakavyoweza ku kumwonyesha uwezo wao siku hiyo hapa taka na nakuja safari mchezaji wa zamani wa Chelsea na pia na profile kubwa kwenye soka duniani nyinyi mnapokeaje kupata wageni wa namna hii sisi tunaona kwamba tumepata mafanikio makubwa sana katika mipango yetu kwa sababu kumpata mtu kama yule ambaye ana experience kubwa katika mpira 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 wa, wa, wa dunia na ni mtu mwenye influence kubwa tunaamini kwamba itatusaidia katika kutangaza vipaji vyetu hapa kwetu. Na inaweza kusababisha tukapata wengine wengi kama yeye. Soka la Tanzania linakuwa sasa hivi. Vijana wengi wanapata nafasi na fursa ya kwenda kucheza nje. Uh, nyinyi sasa ambao mnawasaidia vijana hawa na mnawaambiaje pipi zinapotokea nafasi kama hizi? Maana vijana wako wengi lakini sio wote watakaopata nafasi ya kwenda. Ah sisi tunajaribu kuwa kuwa ku, ndio maana tunajitahidi kutalisha na ni eh, kliniki kama hizi nyingi kwa sababu unapokosa leo basi utegemee utapata kliniki nyingine. Na kama hivi sasa hivi tunawaahidi vijana wetu kwamba waendelee kufanya mazoezi kwa nani na wale ambao wako mitaani watafute vituo ili kusudi wakati mwingine wote tutaweza kuja kufanya kliniki zingine kama kama hizi. Tunategemea kufanya kliniki nyingi na tunategemea kupata wageni wengi ambao wanaweza kuja kuhitaji vipaji kutoka kwetu. But it's the same project is the second time we do this but it's maybe my uh, tenth time in Tanzania. So uh, this time last time when we had this combine it was to select to know better the players in Tanzania and then we have selected uh, a couple of players that went to Europe some came back and this time we have a special guest coming so i i've decided to come a few days before him to prepare the ground with uh, antonio my friend antonio and uh, it's looking okay he's doing okay but he has to be different than last time because the guest is very special and we have to show him the better side of tanzania football wise uh, i have seen uh, players from tanzania uh, you took some of them to the europe yeah. uh, what do you see these guys now before the guest has been cut? Well, uh, I don't have, uh, for today I don't have surprises because I know almost all of them. Almost all of them. They are basically the same teams that we saw last time that I, that I was here. And uh, it will be uh, more selective this time. Because, you know, sometimes I do the combines and I put emotions because you have to help the kids and you have to give hope. You know, even if they are, done, they are not ready, you have to give them the opportunity to, you know, to dream and to motivate the other players. But now it will be more difficult, you know, it will be more difficult because the, the guest is more demanding and me too, I have to be more aggressive and I have to explain to the players that they have to show more all the time. Because sometimes they come, they just jog around and it's, gonna, it's not going to be enough. But uh, now, like I said, I don't have a lot of surprises. But I see players that I already know that have the potential, so it's just up to me and the uh, other partners and Cambiaso and all the staff that is here to help me to talk to them, to coach them so they will know what to do because they have the potential, but maybe they don't know what it takes and the sacrifices to play in Europe. Maybe they don't know, but we will, we will help them. We we'll definitely help them. Last time we've got a few players from here to go in Europe. But for, for, for this season, so how many players have you expected to have? I would love to have 20 players. I would love to have 20 players. But it's not up, up to me, it's up to the players to perform on the field. You know, um, football is like a pyramid. Pyramid at the bottom, there are a lot of uh, 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 places, but then when you get to the top, only few players will succeed. 
So we will judge the players on the ability on the field and also how strong they are mentally. You know, so I cannot give you a number, but the player, I will not be the one picking the players today. I brought a guest that is coming from tomorrow, and he will be the one selecting this time. Availability of Dennis Wise, so will yeah. there any kind of changes in this session? Uh, say it again. There is any kind of changes uh, for the coming of Dennis Wise in this session of uh, calculating and making evaluation of playing? Of course, because uh, this time it will be Dennis. Dennis has uh, a lot of experience. You know Dennis, you know his background. And he's a, he's a former coach, he's a sports director. He's a, he has a lot, of, uh, a lot of experience compared to me. You know, I'm just the one guiding the young kids, but he's the one that will take the final decision, see if he's happy with one player, he can make a call, he can call Chelsea, he can call Newcastle, he can whatever. So we are doing this for Dennis this time. It's not for me. Last time was for me, but this time you and me, we are doing for Dennis. There are clubs uh, where are you going to take two of these guys from Tanzania? There are special clubs. Yeah. Uh, are you going to take this guy? If we select two? the players? Yes, yes. Maybe it's going to be two, maybe it's going to be zero. You know? But I'm not going to, uh, to be the one to decide. And like I said, we do the combine for Dennis. Dennis will, uh, will make his report. We will have a meeting after all the games. And he will decide if he's picking one or he's picking two or he's not. And me too, I will decide if I'm picking one, two or not. Maybe we take three, I take two, it's five. We do this for Tanzania. Uh, now, you have a, 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 a player in Nantes uh, from Tanzania, from Kambiaso. Tepsi. Uh, yes. Can you tell us uh, his development? Tepsi right now, Tepsi, Tepsi is a big uh, player with big potential player with big potential. That's his first experience in Europe. He went to Europe in Turkey with the national team, but it was for a tournament, you know. And now when you go to a special academy like FC Nantes, Nantes like you say here, it's it's a bit complicated, difficult, so he needs to adjust. Right now he's back, but he will go back because we have to do, uh, we have a procedure with uh, the visas and stuff. But he's a player with a lot of potential and impressed in Nantes. They, they, they really like him. And... Uh, I like I like Tepsi. I like Tepsi. Okay, thank you. Welcome to Tanzania. Thank you very much.